Hi everyone, if you are planning to play Black Myth Wukong, download the benchmark tool, it's available now on Steam. It does weigh quite a bit, as you can see, or close to 7 gigabytes. However, being able to see if your computer can handle this game in good frame rates, that's the best thing a developer can do. Now, I will probably play this on the PlayStation anyway, nonetheless, uh, here on the PC. Uh, basically, what you need to do is just uh, go around to the setting and try to, first of all, play with the recommended settings and then benchmark and see if you can get better frame rates by playing around with the different settings. So you can check, for example, the resolution and uh, you can put frame rate cap, V-Sync, uh, reduce, for example, motion blur and choose uh, uh, super resolution and different ones like maximum or just reduce it a bit. Use uh, different super resolution samplings. You can change FSR, which works great, by the way, or change to DLSS if your graphic card is supported. Again, try different ones with frame regeneration or not, ray tracing on and off, and see what works best for you. You can also change uh, the detailed graphics there in the settings until you find the sweet spot that works best for you, if it works well for you at all. It will take a few minutes to complete but again, this is the best thing to actually see if your computer can handle this game well. I mean, some people have the PlayStation or have PC as well and want to decide whether to buy the game on PC or the PlayStation 5, for example. Or the Xbox. Nonetheless, uh, it's a decision, right? So at the top left, you can actually see the frame rates. And again, play with different things and see what works best for you. Now, there aren't really very strong visual effects here or anything but again this is a benchmark and a good starting point to really assess if your computer can handle this game at decent frame rates and i guess for many of you it's like at least around the 60 fps or preferably better and once it's complete you're going to see a summary of the benchmark with the average frame rate the lowest one and the highest ones and other settings as well so you can actually assess how it actually performs with even a chart at the bottom and again, the great thing about this is you're not going to be in the dark. You say, all right, I'm going to bite on PC. Maybe my computer won't handle it well. It happens so many times in modern uh, games that looks incredible, but suffer from lots of problems. Now, I'm not saying that it's guaranteed that it won't be issues. I'm just saying it's a good starting point to assess whether you can run the game in good frame rates or what you consider good frame rates for yourself. Uh, some people, if you don't mind getting a bit around the 40 and they're fine with it, others really want to nail at least the 60 in order to enjoy a smooth gameplay experience. And that's it. Don't forget to do it. Cheers.